In the previous video, we queried a collection in Firestore. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view and update documents in Firestore. By the end of the video, you'll be able to select notes from the list and view their details in a dialog fragment. The notes can also be edited from the dialog fragment. To save the changes, you just need to click Save. The first step in updating data is going to be inflating the dialog fragment and viewing it. The dialog we'll be inflating is named View Note Dialog. Before we look at the data, we need a way to trigger the inflation. Open Note Recycler View Adapter. We're going to attach an on click listener to the view holder. Scroll down to the view holder and implement the on click method. Click the red light bulb and select the method. Set the listener in the constructor by writing item view dot set on click listener and then pass this. Now we need a way to inflate the dialog from main activity. We'll create another interface method for that. Open I main activity. We'll call the method on note selected and it's going to take a note object. Go back to note recycle view adapter. Now inside the on click method, set the select index by calling get adapter position. Now call on note selected and pass the selected index. We'll talk more about the selected index variable later on. We need this to solve a problem that I won't reveal yet. Open main activity. Scroll all the way to the top. As you can see, we're getting an error because we created a new interface method and we haven't added it to the activity. Click the red light bulb and add the on note selected method. I'm going to cut it and paste it just below on create. Now here's where we want to inflate view note dialog. First, instantiate the dialog and pass the note using the new instance method. Now use the show method, reference the support fragment manager and give it a tag. Open view note dialog. Scroll down to the on click method. Here's where we'll capture the updated fields. I want to stay consistent with what we've been doing. I want to make the updates in main activity, not here in the dialog. So we need another interface method for that. Open iMain activity. We're going to call this one update note, and it's also going to take a note object. Go back to view note dialog. The dialog has a global note object that's being set to the edit text widgets. We just want to update the note and send it to the update note method we just created. So first we'll update the title, and then we'll update the content. Call the update note method and pass the updated object. After that, we can dismiss the dialog. Open main activity. Scroll to the top, click the red light bulb, and we're going to implement the new interface method that we just made. I'm going to cut it once again and paste it below on create. Here's where we'll make the updates. As always, start with getting the Firebase Firestore instance object. Since we're updating a note document, we need to get a document reference. Reference the notes collection and pass the note ID. There are several ways you can do updates with Firestore. I'm going to use the update method and the document reference. Now I can specify the key value pairs that I want to update. This is the title field, and the value is note.getTitle, then the content field, and the value is note.getContent. Just like every Firestore task, we need an oncomplete listener to listen for completion. Then we can check for success with this if else block. If the task was successful, show a snack bar message that says updated note. If the task fails, show a snack bar message that says failed check log. At this point, I'm going to run it and see if it's working. There's going to be an issue, but I want to show it to you before solving the problem. So I'll select a note from the list. Great, the dialog is inflating correctly. Now I'll change the title and I'll change the content. Watch Firestore in the background. When I click save, you should see the change submitted. There, that note document was changed. But there's a problem. The note wasn't updated in the list. See, down here it hasn't changed. If I trigger the swipe refresh, then the list item is updated. That's not ideal. The list item should get updated as soon as the change has been made. So let's fix that. Open Note Recycler View Adapter. Create a public method named update note and pass a note object. Remember when I said we'd be using the selected note index variable? Here's where we'll need it. We need to update the selected note. First we'll update the title, and then we'll update the content. Once that's done, we'll notify the adapter and let it know that a change has been made. Open main activity. Now if the update task is successful, we want to tell the adapter with our new method. Because the note object is being used in the interface, we need to make it final. 
That's it. That's all there is to updating data in Firestore. If you want more information on Firestore and updating data, check out my Firestore course on Pluralsight. It's much more detailed than this short YouTube course. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to check that out. And there's also a link to get your first 10 days free on Pluralsight. If you're interested in some of the other Firebase tools, I also have courses on Firebase authentication and sending verification emails, the Firebase database and cloud storage, and Firebase cloud messaging, cloud functions, and Crashlytics. Links to those courses will also be in the description of this video. In the next video, we're going to work on deleting data from Firestore.